uh, if we're doing basketball and hoops, I think a lot of people will say Drake is LeBron right now. They would say Kendrick is Kobe. J. Cole. Michael Jordan. It's playoff P. <laughs> I'm run, so disrespectful. I'm going to run it down. Really, I'm going to run, it, I'm run down the pair. At least give him Carmelo. I didn't watch the uh, the first listen specifically because I wanted to get y'all uh, y'all opinion in live time. But, but I did hear that y'all felt like it was me. Was that, is that a fair statement? I guess I can give my opinion real quick. I think that even through looking at it, like if we put the baseline, baseline at Cole can rap extremely well. Mm. He raps about as good as anybody's rapping right now. And that is a really consistent thing. And I think pretty much everybody has had that exact same sentiment. And I think for me, the first verse is like extremely fire, right? Mm. Uh, the second verse to me, I just don't like the sentiments of it. It's a lot of uh, what I could have done. There's like at least two. What did like, you rate this, it? Huh? What did you rate it at the end? I don't think we rated it, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, rated it, it wasn't. Yeah, we had yeah, Kamu yeah, we, there. And we was just, yeah, yeah, we were just kind of, you know, getting through it. I didn't I didn't rate it anything. Uh but to me, because of like I Cole is a perspective rapper as well. Like I didn't enjoy like blaming the fans and uh you know what I mean pretty much becoming Drake's little nigga. How is it blaming and, the fans? I'll be feeling like I, I feel like y'all be like O D emotional about like the like little little things that cause the thing is is that like to me the record was cold as shit. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna give up, but I think that that like the so oh, you, he's you know that he the actually fans. had exact bars about the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was talking about that, that was blame, that, that's called blaming the fans. But he was saying that that they wanted pretty much that we wanted him to to to, to go. What he been saying to go, that so he was going to do? I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying like if <laughs> if we're judging the track, right? Or are you judging it based on emotional that emotions no. that you had that were tied to the beef? No, all right, so do you understand, like, if he's giving a perspective, I can just disagree with the perspective. Okay, so, ahead, like, finish, like, again, ahead, finish, I just said finish. that he rapped really well. I don't think anybody mm-hmm. is, like, went against that. Mm-hmm. He's right now possibly the best rapper that's rapping when it comes to punchlines, putting it all together. Right. Also, I can disagree with his sentiment mm-hmm. and, uh, like, certain things that I like about him uh, and what it kind of denotes. And to me, that's kind of where I land at. Is that yeah? It, it was a bunch of things that I thought was kind of corny in the in the second verse. A bunch of things. Yeah, I can I can run like a like three or four of them. Down yeah, right now. I want to just. Um, so yeah, I, I think the the I would have done thing is kind of corny. I wouldn't have lost the battle. I would have lost, lost the home. I would have lost the home. Well, you jumped in and people didn't receive your record that well, and then you took it away. So it's not like we didn't actually see you jump in the battle. So he did jump in the battle. That part did happen. Mm-hmm. So then when he says like the bar, like I'm a, I, I, the gun don't work if it don't go off and shit like oh, that. Yeah, I guess the gun is like, you, you did shoot your gun. It just didn't get received well. And so then you have that. Then you have the, they wanted blood mess and all this stuff. The reality is that everybody just wanted, that everybody was happy about this because of, it wasn't going to be any street beef to it. And before he left, there were literally was no actual like petty shit. The reality is that none of the like we we just listened to Euphoria. That's not any like dirt shit. It didn't get really dirty until that Friday night mm-hmm. when Drake dropped the whole thing saying that his wife he beat his wife and all that shit. Family mm-hmm. That was like three weeks after Drake, not Drake, J. Cole jumped out. So it hadn't even got that far. And if you listen to Kendrick's first one, he says. Like we can keep this just a rap beef, right. but don't tell no lie about me. I won't tell no lie, lie about, about you. you. Right, right. So then that means that like now you're writing a revisionist history because you're saying that we wanted something other than what you've been saying, which is let's all try and rap really well. You listen to like that. He's he's only making rapper punchlines. Mm-hmm. That's all. All that's all Kendrick did the entire time. So I didn't really like that. Um, the whole Drake angle in the song was kind of just only because of Drake. Like right now, and he's going through it, and I think he just had dropped a little uh thing. Where he's like, I ain't gigs or something. No, no, not that. Like he he was on stage at some something. Like I ain't got no friends. I'm talking about fake friends. My friends fake. They turned it back on me. And so oh. like Cole, like kind of like just like those the full plea. Like it's okay, bro, it's, buddy. They they trying to make it up. Like I'm your friend, and you helped me so much because of I guess bro, yeah. it has been said that Drake's just literally not responding to him. 
And like what, that, that's point, a known, so that's let, a known let, thing. Let can, I, can I give my take on it? I'm just, let me, real quick, I'm take. not giving a take. At what point is thorough nigga shit thorough nigga shit? Like, at what point is it like, okay, you can see somebody that you fuck with mm-hmm. and they going through and he's sitting there like, I ain't see the fuck what you was just talking about him saying I ain't got no friends. Everybody turned out to be fake. I didn't see that. But if you see your man pretty much, your man's pretty much having a mental health breakdown and it's on and it's all music shit. At what point is real nigga shit like, no, nah, bro, like you get your get back into what we love. Like the, the reason that you're doing this ain't for this. You know what I mean? For the fucking uh, uh, this whole, you know what I mean? This whole deb- like, bro, you still nice. You know what I mean? Just you, we just need you to pull through. You gonna? It's dark right now. We understand it's dark right now, but right, right, it ain't but, no reason to jump off you, the ledge. But could you also say that like thorough nigga shit would have been saying that like way way in advance or like just simply so calling them and saying that? Or yeah, calling them. Right, but you said at the uh, at the Dreamville Fest, what he, he he said that he was stepping out, stepping away, and what was it because of like he, he couldn't sleep. Right, he couldn't sleep because of the. Yeah, that's wild. See, but y'all be. No, they literally here. said that. I know, but you see, you can see that. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. But, but but y'all say. niggas be. Hey, let me give my shit, perspective bro. on it. Let, let y'all me build some other shit, bro. Go what ahead. Was the other, like, where's the lie at that I said? Go let, ahead, Johnny. Let, let me give my because because when I first heard it, like. First of all, the beat was cold. cold. Oh, yeah. the, beat, oh, yeah. the, the, the production was we cold. We read it back about five the, times. The, 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 the intro came in. He had the dead mm-hmm. prezies mm-hmm. sample in there. Like it sounded like one of those. The first verse did everything it was supposed to do. Now that second verse, and y'all got my first reaction. It's on the channel. Go check it out. You know, we get my first reaction is he didn't approach it the way that I was anticipating him approaching it because I heard the. I saw one bar about it before before I listened to it. And it said, I wouldn't have lost the beef. I would have lost the bro. And so when I was listening to it, I was expecting spice. I was expecting the red. So you remember the you remember the wedding, the red sauce from the wedding? Mm-hmm. Shit was yeah. on fire. I was expecting red sauce for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was expecting red sauce. When we got it, it was green sauce. It was good. It was it tasty. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it didn't have that spice that I was looking for. And nothing wrong with that. You know, green sauce is good. I just I was just a little disappointed because I didn't get that spice. Second opinion, you know, second day I listened back to it, bro. Actually, fucking rapping ain't nothing wrong with green sauce. Green sauce oh, no, feel good. Answer. Like and so, do I think I would have taken that approach or should he? I I don't agree with his approach. The record is still cold though, and, and when I listen to it, I still like the record. I like his rapping. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the production. Replay, does it have more replay value than? Almost all of the songs in the beef. Oh, not all the songs. I in said the beef. almost. Yeah, not all the songs. I said but, almost. Uh, it's it probably be in the top fifteen percent of the. Oh, oh no, I mean, so it's it's better than some of them. Okay, so it's better than are, some well, of them. Were you done sure. with yours? Uh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <you know. laughs> okay. So for me, right, I was actually getting tired of the whole uh, him trying to prove that he's the best rapper. Rapidly rap over like over rapping like bro we already know you can rap I the code that I like that the like I feel like the the niggas who really fuck with code we we fuck with the what he did in the first verse really both of the verses honestly in my opinion we fuck, if you fuck with code you fuck with him for what he did in the first verse not necessarily trying like I understand if you get on a, on a, on a feature with somebody murder that nigga but other than that bro we didn't fall in love with you. Because of the fact that you was uh, trying to prove that you were the best rapper, that ain't what that ain't why I ever liked it. Well, you, I you like the like love it. yours, uh, crooked smile. I like the 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 actual the record records. Like you know what I mean? I like that. That's my favorite code. So like for me, but you know, this was one of the major dopest. part of his career off of like the niggas can't fuck with me. Right, right, which all right. which all rappers do that. Uh, all rappers that actually no, like, I'm just saying, like can rap, they all do that. From like mixtape code, is, yeah, for sure. There's a, there's a lot. Of what I'm saying is that that's just the album code. It's a lot. Anybody that really raps, they all do that. So I mean that that doesn't oh, really okay. matter so much to me. Um <clears throat> uh, but yeah, the record, like you say, the beat soon as it came on, yeah, murder, right? I've been singing that. Y'all niggas saying stopping me. Very but catchy. For two or three mornings, first thing that's coming in my mind is singing that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It feels good. To me, the record, first verse and second verse, it was my favorite song that I've heard in a long time. Like, but this I'm one? also, yes, I'm also like the guy that liked. Uh, uh, Mr. Morale or, or the Big Stepper album. You know what I mean? I like stories. I like vulnerability. I like man, like real man shit. Like, you know what I mean? I like that. That's my favorite type of that introspective. Like, that's my favorite type of rap. So the braggadocious rap, that thing there, that ain't my thing. You know what I mean? So like, 
this was the best record. I mean, of course, the uh, not like us smash. You know what I mean? It was a vibe like hell, but like this right here, this feels more like this feels more like me. You know what I mean? To like the not like us is like a part more up. Well, you know what I mean? More like this feels good to me. This was but my favorite this to record. Like battle records with. Like it, it's hard to compare this in general to like battle. No, I was just saying that the, that was that was a big record before this. That was like the biggest record. You know what I mean? To me, this I'm just saying that this record feels better to me, or oh, feels better than most music I've that has dropped. The, the, everything on the Future album, like everything. This is a to me this this record is the best record I've heard in a minute. That's just for me. Like maybe since like Jid album, Jid had some what were uh my brother them. He had some he had some dope records on there, but like it's been a minute since I actually had a song that I actually just liked and just would sit back and play. Like I would literally ride in the car and just start it over, and then this, start it over. Like you know what I mean? This is actually cool. I guess as fuck it, it's, to me. it's cool for me. I think I put this inside like the the really good J Cole records that uh, like this isn't specifically one that I'm a like run a lot later. To me, the ones that I do run a lot are kind of like a. Like like tears from ODB or some shit like that. Like a lot of his uh, Unabomber. Um, his records from Truly Yours, like like Truly Yours, Truly Yours too. Mm-hmm. Like those are ones yeah, yeah. where like he he gives like a like a full frame story. He's kind of like out of body inside the inside the context of it. And like I, those are kind of more more so my favorite ones. I think that with this, this is like what's what's the one he did to Batman. Yeah, but that ain't what I just so you, you know, that ain't what I was saying. About, you, I was, you know what I'm talking about the uh, the, the Batman. Uh, I, I forget, I the, forget name the name of that. Oh, like, 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 he was talking about going yeah. down in the well. Yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, and to me, like that, this yeah, is, but that was still him, like trying to rap it. He rap when it was like, "I'm the best rapper. I'm the best rapper." I'm nah, the best rapper. that was like that, that was perspective. That, that was like, oh, okay, okay. I just don't remember. He was like, that was introspection. That, that was probably yeah, was, introspection okay, more okay. than anything. Um, so yeah, I, to me, I put that inside this where I know I don't necessarily ride around just to like super heady introspective shit. Um, but when I get in the mode of like wanting to hear some good rapping, rapping, uh, that is kind of like perspective rapping. I think that this one, well, nah, I, ain't, I ain't really gonna put it. I'm gonna play that first verse, I'm gonna crop <laughs> off that second one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all just I ain't gonna okay. I, but, go uh, oh, yeah, but he didn't, the fact that he, he didn't, didn't compete is like the reason why the second verse is not good to me. That's just too much oh, no, of an I, emotional I, attachment to the no. fact that you wanted him to do something that he didn't want to do. Like I can just not agree with and enjoy your perspective. So he did compete. I don't care about that. And I think that there was a bunch of angles he could have took in which I thought was inspired. And he called Johnny out too. But but saying like I would have won the battle, like saying like I would have beat that nigga ass. That's no no no. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's just kind of corny to be like, well, shit. You said he. You remember? I would have won. Remember you was mocking him being light skinned He called out you. He called out oh, had you and your pop- my- Yeah, he called out you and I your ain't say nothing too. about his life. Yeah, you did. That, yeah, that you was- did. When we was talking about the Kamala Harris joint, you was talking about. Uh, I would say his yeah. behavior has been very well, light skinned. Wait, wait, I didn't say it. Hold on. I know. He, I did not say <laughs> nothing yeah, about did. him being yeah, light skinned. Don't, 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 don't put the words in my mouth. I love all my light skinned sisters and brothers. He, hey, Trey just said that a minute ago. He is very. Cold moving very light skinned. <laughs> like it's, it's, it kind of is though. Like, we'll be like, like it's some good things to it and shit like that. I think that. So let me, me ask you if this. he, uh, if he just stays, and this is what we said inside the end of reaction was like, this is the part that like we all fucking love Cole for. Like, you just stay here. We're mm-hmm. like, we cool with you. You murdering this shit. Right. It's not even a thing. But then, like I said, when you start getting into the all these things that can just be taken a bunch of different ways, where it's like. I would have won the battle, dog. It's like, all right, like you don't, I don't, you think, don't have to I don't do that. think that's what he was saying. He said, he literally literally no, said, he, said I, he said, he said that. Uh, what he said, I, uh, something like, I would have would have lost the battle. I would have lost the bro. I wouldn't have lost the battle. I would have lost the bro. So, like to me, the more important piece that he was trying to say was that I I didn't feel like it was worth losing. Him. It's not so much the when I would have beat him. I don't think that's what he was trying to say. You can okay. you can try to you can make it feel you can. You but he mean? wouldn't have beat him wanna, though. At the end of the day, like, I don't think like, that that niggas be like, <laughs> I don't think that that was the point he was trying to make. A nigga smack you, and then you be like, he lucky I ain't fighting. Hey, yeah, Jeff T could be like, hey Kobe or, or hey LeBron. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, that's the emotion when you want when you want to find some, when you want to be messy because that's the thing. I think that we just when, as this whole thing is like you, niggas want messiness. That's what we really want, and the fact that you didn't get right. the absolute messy that you wanted. 
or, then or, all of a sudden, but this what, nigga, what if you just want him to do what he had to say? Is rap not a competition? Was it? Is but, it not the, but, but how many times oh. have you seen like a a a a, a Roy, like a three man battle? Like, and we're gonna battle as, or even a team with one guy, like that shit, or you know what I mean? That shit didn't even make sense. Hey, real versus a real, like, yeah, but you talking about clicks. You talking about, but you talking about real. a click of real. Who do you think's better, Le- LeBron or MJ? LeBron. You think? Oh, never mind. It don't work. But, but it will work if you think LeBron. Well, I mean, well, you like Cole. You it's, like it's Cole too. But the reason oh, I, I have a basketball comparison. But no, 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 hold on, wait a minute. The reason I, the reason people are mad at Cole. The reason people are mad at I LeBron understand. is the lack of competition. And that's where, like the Kendrick, the Michael Jordan, they did that shit head but on, it, and that's what it, you got. But it, it's not even that because here, here's also the reality, and this is where, like, I have to call a hypocrite on specifically Cole. So understand, J. Cole has a history of calling out his friends, calling out other artists, quote unquote, attempting to end careers. I want y'all to stop touching mics, bro. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, he has a history. Of it. So understand, False Prophet was his bro that to. was closer than either one of these two niggas. Yeah, that that was him calling Possibly. out. I mean, I don't know if we know. They this. went on tour together. They had mad blogs together. Like they. Like it was a, like him and him and Wale well, were yeah. very very close to him. Okay, okay. Um, and he like he called him out like for no reason. My nigga Wale was literally like, "Hey, bro, like you could have just sent me." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he, he shot he shot at Kanye, in which Kanye never said a word about. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, mean, I, I, forgot, like, the, I, I forgot, like forgot the first Kanye, person false prophet. I feel like Kanye, I feel like Kanye's was warranted though. This was because like if, if I look up, if that, I look had, up to you, if I look up to you, and then you jump off the cliff. Go, go see when false like it, it was before the MAGA shit. It was before like any of those things. This was like 2014, 2013. Like this was like early before yeah, before going on during that time. But, uh, period, though. It was just Kanye just not doing 2016. Things. Okay, 2016. 2016. Oh, that was still that, that was MAGA. Before, that was yeah, I think it, I think that's what started that the been MAGA uh, shit, that, I, which I gives that, him but, a little bit. But I forgot. But, I forgot on that first verse. Forget, he came like, in he had a late. whole diss record to Little Pump that effectively ended Pump's career. But Little Pump was uh, talking shit. He had a whole diss. <laughs> <shit. laughs> how, how about this? He was talking <laughs> shit. Oh, cool, cool, cool. How about this? He also, but Kendrick was just talking shit. But um, how about we also? Say, but it was okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. He had a whole like he he had. Did J Cole really end his career? Did his career just end because? Because he was bugged. It was <laughs> yeah, going, it was going to end anyway. Was, I think it's still it's, it's, it's still anyway. a bunch of niggas that's around from that era. Like it wasn't we like him or not, it's still a bunch of niggas. But um, this nigga and this Diggy Simmons, he like he he has a history <laughs> of like being in battles and, and shooting at a bunch of low hanging fruit. Diggy, yes, Diggy, yeah, yeah. yeah Diggy, Diggy Simmons. This yeah. is the thing too, though. I don't know if like, like that's like if me and Johnny, this, like let's say we were we were gonna uh, uh we would go me and Johnny beefing right. And you thought it was funny because, like, you being just who you are, antagonizing little shit how you okay. normally would do. My but then, as soon as, as soon as some blood actually spilled, you'd be like, "Oh no, this shit's no longer funny What's anymore." The blood? No, I'm talking. But soon as soon as shit start getting really messy, it when never you got messy when about, he was in it. But what I'm saying hey, is Je- that just say somebody get real as Kate. <laughs> oh no, the Kate was on. You know, you, listen, I'm just objective. I think that there's an emotional attachment to uh, J Cole that you have. No, I just like the record. I thought the record was good. I just like I'm the record. Gonna... But who said we, nobody said that they disliked the record? Like we're just critiquing in a For, perspective. Okay, so I had two people that watched y'all uh y'all do y'all thing on, on first take and they both felt like y'all was saying the shit was mid. We could just watch it again. Like, so like you, I said, you think I watched it, it like 17 times at the beginning of it. You like and you matter of fact, when I posted about it being uh that it wasn't mid on Facebook, you was in there. What did I say? Let me look. Go ahead and look. It said the first verse cold, second verse. Ugh. That's the exact same thing that I said. Yeah, and I remember you said that. And the first that, that, half that was before I listened to it. I the first half of the record was incredible. What he said like, on the damn Facebook post, bro. I'm going back to it right now. Go ahead, and then I'm it's probably the it, it'll it'll probably echo everything that I'm saying. It's just right one now. part of the song, and and when I looking back, I actually liked it more the second and third time I heard it because I got over Cole this has a disappointment. <laughs> Real say Cole has a nasty diss list. <laughs> nasty <laughs> diss list. Like, like, when, he, when, he, when it's actually formidable, he, ah, I can't sleep. It's kind of like the... Now that, yeah, the one dude yeah, that you should, like enough. you dissing Lil Pump and Diggy, but then you running with Oh, Wale? Like all the niggas that you're, like you have a step above. All the people that people would say that you're in front of, 
I just think that that's a little nasty. Nigga, cute dude. And, 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 and then just be like, no. Nah, <laughs> but uh, but while, while Rails was going to find that, call him out. Johnny, you started at, uh, you started making basketball comparisons, right? And to me, this is this is what I would like to say. Uh, if we're doing basketball and hoops, like they like hoopers want to be hoop, hoopers want to be rap, rappers and rappers want to be hoopers. I think a lot of people will say Drake is LeBron right now. They would say Kendrick is Kobe. J. Cole. Michael Jordan. Let's play LP. <laughs> I knew you were oh, about to say that's crazy. crazy. I, I think it's about to say so uh, crazy. Yeah, I'm, 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 that's so it. disrespectful. I'm going to run it down really quickly, though. Really quickly. I think that he called my man PG-13. That's crazy. Let, let me, let me, let me run it. I'm going to run down the pair. At least give him Carmelo. Hey. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> I think I, 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 I think it's what, what year Paul George so, uh, when he was in Indiana? I'm just Lance talking about Peterson. like just kind of how, how how it's been. But so I think that if we just look at some of the things to a specific demographic, he is the goat. This is J. Cole. This is Paul George. <laughs> Guaranteed. Oh, this is nasty, bro. Listen, this is this nigga went and wrote that. He got a whole list. <laughs> Listen, this is it. Some whole work. Y'all, y'all just gotta go ahead. Let me cook real quick. Let me cook. Possibly, <laughs> possibly the most skilled at his position Just in make the sure game. The collard greens don't come out right? the tub, bro. Him, they don't, don't want to let me get get it off. <laughs> Go this ahead. is nasty. Listen, <laughs> possibly the most skilled at his position in the game, right? Uh, conceded his position publicly. Whether you say Dreamville Fest or Paul George saying he number two to Kawhi, um, playoff P equals battle rap cold. Had some moments, but overall didn't deliver. And last but not least, Kobe, killer instinct when it came down to winning that chip. They said sometimes they say LeBron 2018 is the best player ever. Locked in, came back. 3-1. Didn't have a killer instinct to actually get it done. Uh playoff P, J. Cole. Um Toss it in the headphones. Oh, that's that's dirty work, bro. I can't even co-sign that. that nah, is, bro. bro that tell, is, tell me where I'm off at. That is dirty. No, but just tell me where I'm off. That at. is dirty work. Tell me where I'm off. Hello, Pete, uh, 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 Paul George didn't win the ring. He don't got a ring, do he? Yeah, Cole ain't got one either. The Cole no, got a ring. Cole. What, what's it like? The championship, like Drake can say he won a battle. He, he try to be very entertaining. Kendrick right now. can say he, he won a battle. Know. We just. I'm at, I, oh no, I see what he's saying right now. Nah, yeah, I'm about to say he, true. Cole can't that's say he true. won a battle, bro. <laughs> that's true. He beat Wale. But Wale didn't try. He didn't, he didn't respond. Yeah, Wale didn't try. I can that, 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 that I can give him that. We, that's how we that. judge our, our goats in rap and in is and off battles. No, off winning the chip, winning the championship. But yes, yeah, but I don't really every, think everybody. Off gets I mean, who who is Andre three thousand? This I don't know. Great point. Great what, point. What, what about like Little <laughs> Wayne? Lil Wayne, that's him and Gilly. G- Gilly. But Gilly, that, man, that ain't don't count, count that bro. Ain't that's count. worse than J. Cole and Wale. That, that ain't no fact. championship that ring. Hell no. I, I would think that there, there's, like, if we get into who has, uh, like, the, the classic goats of hip-hop, you're going to go Tupac, been in the battle. You're going to say yeah. Biggie, been in the battle. Jay. You're going you're to say Jay, been in the battle. You're going to say Nas, Dem, been in the battle. You're going to say Nas, been in the battle. Shit, like even your conscious rappers been in battles, Come commons on. and Come like, like, yeah. like competitiveness is a big part of rap, especially Not if good. you talk about being competitive and talk about like, won't nobody try you? Niggas don't want smoke with me. I'm one of them ones. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that it kind of warrants that same thing. Like when but, people want to put their name inside the goat debate, but, I, 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 but I'm I, saying, I, but, but I'm saying, are, are you a lame because you back down from Kobe Bryant? Like, I mean, like, like we're, if we're, we're going to acknowledge Kendrick yes, as listen, Kobe, you're super corny. If like the coach told you check Kobe, like that was your matchup, and you was like, "Hey, now run on chest, get this nigga, bro." I, I, I ain't dealing with him today. I would say that, that that's ducking smoke, and that would be corny. Even if you Jalen Rose, eh, well, he ain't Jalen Rose. That's even worse. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Tell, all I'm saying is, tell me where I'm off on the uh, Paul George comparison. Paul George is possibly the best skilled player at small forward. No, see, ever. that nigga is a six ten Kyrie Irving. Nobody is as sometimes. No, no, he, like he's he, as good he, as it is. But he just ain't got the. But I'm saying, but Melo had a better career. What are you talking about? Like, would you I just, say? I just said most skilled. So I mean, I say like Cole, right now, nobody Cole got more of a Melo. I'd say. 
Say it again. Okay. He's more of a mellow, just to score. Mm. Like a lot of buckets. A lot of buckets. Like, like I, I, I could. I think the comparison is less dirty work with mellow. I think, that I think it's no, nobody calls Melo the goat. The kids do call Paul George the goat. I'm at least giving them that. Yeah, but that's just not even that's not even based in any like you know what I mean. No, it, 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 it is. looks good. But I mean, no, but what, to call it, what I'm saying to call him the goat. Yeah, goat, like that's just, kids though. That's called Stretch Armstrong. It's not for it, all right. So, and this is what I'm saying. Like, if we have like a basketball comparison, if you like like in just in casual, you might think it's like disrespectful. Again, the reality is Paul George is. More like he's more skilled than pretty much ninety five to all of ninety eight percent of any shooting guard small forward that plays the game. I'm and has played the part. Game. It's just the go um, part. Like even like a Jason Tatum. Yes, he like no, no, he is. Yeah, Watch, he Jason Paul, Tatum, like he is. Sure. Kyrie, he's a six ten Kyrie. He's the guy. I he's a six ten Kyrie without killing instant. It just is what it is. The nigga is cold. I can just sit and watch Paul George and it's beautiful. No, no, it's definitely beautiful. Um, he has the, the 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 nicest looking game that I I agree yeah. with that part. He got the twitch but too, the and he got part the, is just a little bit far. But but the kids, like all the kids that come into the league, want to be him. No, I mean, all all the kids, they they don't care as much about the, like the chips and all that shit. Mm. It's about like skill set, mm. who I want to emulate, who I want to be and like. On defense too. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, it's, he's not, it's not as disrespectful. He just ain't got the killer instinct. It's all right, man. Cold. Yeah, no, nah, I'm looking forward to. Uh, so, are you? Are you? What is it called? The the the, the, uh, the album. What's it called again? It depends on how he rapping. I like if he rapping like he did on T Grizzly. I don't really care. No, I'm just talking about based on. I want him to be rapping like what he did on, on that record. Uh, uh, on this, this I don't new think record. he's going full introspective. I think he's going to get back into his, uh, his gaudy shit. Like this is the this is the uh, outlier. See, now, if he run. if he does that, like if he starts go if he can if he goes to the goes back to I'm the better rapper. Like if it's anything like that, uh, might delete later. Where it's just braggadocious, I'm the best, I'm the best rap. I don't want to hear that shit. Man, I mean, that was like the best project that I mean, up yeah, until the shit, no, bro. To me, yeah. that shit doesn't it doesn't man, Mike, bro, Mike, it doesn't Mike, bring that was to my fire life, bro. up until yeah, yeah. a point, I bro. It was like three days where that shit Kendrick was Kendrick rocked up the album of the year. To me, like, that shit was good. I don't want to hear three thousand and one oh, ready, twenty four. Are you listening I'm, to it though? Bro, yes. yes, a bunch yes. of times. And, and then if you still listening to it, bro, let's be honest. I listen to it like why you keep listening over there when I keep asking you questions, bro. Cause he was talking, no, he no, cut no. me off. He, he cut me off. That's why I looked over there. When, when's the last time you looked? <laughs> last week, I listened to three thousand and one. I listened to Ready, and I listened to uh in a Beza. Uh, that nigga's trade oh, no, with a Beza. And, and, yeah. and, and if you're going introspective, you can argue trade it. Trey and oh, a Beza is more introspective than this one right here. Yeah, Pi was some other one shit. too. Yeah, so I mean that's rapper. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, the nigga was like, it's a fire ass. Album to me, it just don't right. hit like that. I just don't want to hear you keep talking about how good you are, bro. Give me something. Why not? Give me some something about some family. <laughs> Why not? Give me something about some family. Why you don't want to hear him rap about how good he is? It's because I don't care about clothes, that. Because I don't care about that, bro. That doesn't predict that, like it doesn't make me feel good. Like I don't know, bro. It just like so you just stop. You rap. just stop getting. You just got tired of hearing him be the bread. He's always done that. He did that on all Literally his features. Every album. What I'm, you talking about? But, all his features. I'm talking about. Bro, no, oh, you talking album. about Hill Drive? Like I'm talking about having more substance. Y'all can't sit here. I'm talking about like, the last three right, years of features. Johnny P's caddy. Right, what was bro. he talking I'm about? Done, like bro. all those fe- I get paid two thousand dollars a word. He's yeah, been bragging those. Devil, like like bro, man. He's God. been bragging those, but now you don't want to hear him. No, what I'm saying is that he's been. Whatever, bro. I mean, like if Y'all you go, it, like if you I, actually want to do it, gotcha. If we actually want to go through the J Cole discography, we don't, bro. I no, don't. Man, man. I just did this. That means oh, I don't, bro. That, that, that's good for you. I'm gonna still make my point. But um, if we actually want to go through the J Cole discography, he has a good portion, like at least half to half. But he has more albums that have more commercial and braggadocious than actual introspection. Where you get more into like intro introspective code will be his mixtapes. Um, like whether you want to go like the Friday Night Lights, any uh, given Sunday, the warm up. but no, no matter, matter of fact, a lot of like what put Cole on in general because the warm up and the come up, there's a lot of just rap. If we go Born Center, that's a lot of rap. If we go, uh, what's his first album? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Sideline Story, that's a lot of rap. KOD, that's a lot of rap. That's all I'm saying. Real? Y'all niggas ain't stopping me. Hey, 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 look like the comments been going crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, 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 yeah, they, yeah. what, what um, they talking about? They, they ain't uh, tussling in there, is they? Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of that going on. <laughs> God 